All right, Ricky, how was the official visit? Um, it was definitely fun. I was able to learn a lot. Uh, I was able to see the dorms, hang out with the players, learn a little more about the city. So coming up here is always fun. Like, it's always welcoming, and I love it. I know you've been here a few times. What did you want to learn on this visit that maybe the prior visits hadn't allowed you to learn? Uh, I really wanted to learn more about my major, broadcast journalism, and I also wanted to see the dorms. I was able to do both. Broadcast journalism is definitely, like, where I'm going to, that's where I think I'm going to take my talents with, you know, be on camera. And uh, I was able to learn, like, some of the technologies going on. It's a lot that plays on. Like, it's crazy. Coach Sertan, what did you and him chat about with regards to future position, how you fit into what they want to do defensively? Uh, because I'm a press man corner, that's really what they play a lot. They love to play man, so it kind of fits where I, what I want to do. What are a few things that stood out, Ricky, uh, this weekend, uh, whether it's the cooking competition or just anything you did, you wanted to talk about the staff. What was kind of you know, a few of your favorite things to do? Uh, definitely the cooking competition. That was one of the most enjoyable things. Uh, I've never done something like that, so uh, I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but it, it kind of turned out well. Like, I did better than I thought I would. I cooked me some uh, shrimp and chicken alfredo and threw some broccoli on there. Meetings with uh, Coach Norvell, how did that go? Uh, it went great. I just had it. Uh, you know, we talked about the usual, how he envisions me in the program and how he runs things here. So uh, I'm definitely soaking it all in. They were early in your recruitment, third or fourth offer, if I no, recall. They were actually the first. They were first? Yeah. How much has that lasting power meant to you, the fact that they were in on the ground level, and what is it like kind of getting to this point where we're taking officials and trending towards a decision? I mean, honestly, I still keep that in the back of my head. Uh, they were the first school to ever give me an opportunity, and I'll always be grateful for that and thankful for that. What's left for you in recruiting? What do you have going uh, forward my, when you uh, want to decide? i got another visit coming up this weekend, the 23rd through the 25th at Miami. And then I'll probably be deciding the first week of July, somewhere around there. Who's really in it? Uh, I don't really like. I don't really have a list or anything. The, the feelings now about FSU for the third or fourth visit. How many times you've been here? But what's kind of the feeling around FSU? How are you feeling about those guys? You feel like a priority? I mean, how do you feel about them? I definitely feel like a priority. They always show me love when I get up here, so nothing's ever changed and. I respect that a lot. Where they kind of sit with you? Um, honestly, they're a school that I've loved since the beginning of my process, and they're still there. What's Who's the biggest your... thing that you're going to remember from uh, this recruiting visit uh, this weekend? This weekend? I ain't going to lie. Probably is that cooking competition. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to do good. Who's your players this weekend? What players did you get to talk to? And what kind of perspective did, did they give you about Florida State? Uh, my player host is Akeem Dent. I hung around Shaheen Brown, Jay Dub, and Renardo Green a lot also in their recruits. What did those guys tell you about what it's like being in that DB room, working with this staff day in, day out, what it's like being an FSU football player? I mean, Akeem is from my, like, area, so he always keeps it 100 with me. He lets me know, like, Sertain is definitely, like, an understandable guy. He's not trying to force anything on you. Like, if something works your way, then that's the way it's going to be. Uh, he definitely told me, like, Sertain is the guy to help you get better and develop you more and get you to that next level. Seeing that he's done it with his son, uh, he went down and won championships with high school, and he's also played in the league himself. He's a Hall of Famer. I think this is, you got a chance to really be around the players and also the coaches and see that player coach really what is that like at FSU? Uh, what's unique about it? Uh, they definitely share a great bond. All the guys are loving with each other. You could definitely see like their brotherhood. I also asked that in the uh, player panel. And some of them feel as though like, their brotherhood has gotten a lot tighter from last year to this year. And the coaches as well, they all trust and believe in each other. And that's, that's what makes the school great. How nice was it to have this experience alongside Kevin? Uh, just him being my first cousin, we do a lot. Like we've we've come up together, and to be able to you know go through this process with him, man, it's 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 fun. What's ultimately going to be when you make your decision in July? Going to be the deciding factor, factors for what's going to be the most important things. Um, honestly, education, going into a you know a welcoming home, uh, definitely like the production of the school, uh, living environment. 
uh, away from my family, get up to the games, you know, stuff like that of that nature. How did FSU do in, in kind of checking off on, on those things this weekend? They definitely checked a lot of boxes. Like, they've always been a school that I've loved since, you know, they were my first offer, so I've never lost that love for them.